many of us grew up in an environment where we did not receive plenty of love, where we did not feel accepted as we are, where we did not feel worthy of love and respect, where we had to pretend that we are different than who we truly are in order to be liked or to be taken care of, in order to feel safe and secure. We started to do things that we did not want to do, and we stopped doing the things that we actually wanted to do. We stopped speaking out our minds. We stopped expressing our emotions in order to please others or to not upset them, because otherwise we would be hurt by them. In other words, we started wearing a personality mask that hides our true selves. And many of us still to this day are wearing that mask. That mask was our defense mechanism in our most vulnerable years. So we kept it on ourselves because we felt that we needed it to feel protected, to feel safe, to feel liked, to feel accepted, to feel that we belong. And even today, we are doing so many things that we don't really want to because we think that they will bring us external validation. For example, we might follow a career that we don't really want to, but which is respected by others, that others tell us is great. We might strive to acquire money, possessions, fame, power, just so that we can feel that we are somebody's, to feel that we are important. But we suppress ourselves. We don't follow our inner voice. We don't follow our purpose. We don't do what sprouts from within our hearts. And although we might not show it to other people, we suffer. We are deep down sad and miserable. And we are also so stressed and anxious and insecure because to maintain that mask requires so much energy. To pretend that we are something that we are not needs so much effort. To be constantly worried, to be constantly afraid that others might judge us is ruining our mental health and by extension our physical health. In other words, we sacrifice our well-being to please others. We please others, but we are not pleasing ourselves. And we do it thinking that this will help us to have great relationships with other people. But in reality, it doesn't. Because others cannot truly get to know us. We cannot build intimate, genuine relationships with others. We always feel invisible. We don't set interpersonal boundaries. People are pushing us around and we do whatever they want just so that we can please them. Those who like us don't like us for who we are. And we deep down know that. So no relationship can be truly satisfying. So what is the point of living this way? When we realize that this way of living, this constant search for external validation is doing us way more harm than good. We will want to stop it. We will want to stop pretending. We will want to remove that mask and throw it away and expose our naked selves to the world so that people can see who we truly are. And yes, a lot of people might not like us or might stop liking us. But that's fine. Not everyone is supposed to like us. But it is better to be disliked for who we are than to be liked for something that we are not. And those who will like us will truly, genuinely like us. Then we will really feel loved and accepted. And I'm not saying that we should not pay attention to the opinions of others. Maybe they have a good reason to dislike us. But to base our sense of self-worth on the opinions of others is pointless and harmful. But to remove that mask, 
we need to do a lot of inner work. We need to revisit our emotional traumas and address them. We need to identify and acknowledge our fears and insecurities and realize their source. We need to cultivate internal validation. We need to accept ourselves as we are with our flaws and imperfections. We need to start practicing honesty and put ourselves into a state of vulnerability. So to remove that mask is definitely not an easy thing. It is very difficult, but to wear it is way more hard. So no matter how difficult it is to do that inner work, to expose ourselves to the world, to start living genuinely and authentically, it is incredibly, unimaginably worth it.